Hello and welcome to our final card in the 12 Cards of Christmas series. So let's start by cutting a 6x8 piece of double-sided cardstock and folding it in half. And then you need to have a tree shape. I used a Sizzix die to cut it out. If you don't have a die like this or a die similar to this, you can uh, use a circle shape, a heart shape, or any other shape that you have. Trace the shape onto the left side of the card, but only uh, two-thirds of the shape and not the entire shape, because we want to create a special fold, special opening for the card. And then with a craft knife, cut around what you drew only until the fold line. Don't go over the fold line. So now you see that we have a shape of a tree that is is like a window inside the card. It opens on its own. You can tell it's a tree even though it's not all the shape of the tree. Now I want to bring in another tree, make it a little brighter because I want to create a contrast between the color of the card and the color of the tree. So I simply glue it on top of the part that I cut and then I trim the excess with my scissors. Now we have a green tree, like a window. Now I want to add some more trees, but I want to add the tree the second tree to open with the first one. So I'm applying the glue only on the corner of the left tree and attaching another tree without attaching it to the card. The third tree is attached to the middle tree with a foam tape and they all open together forming a window. On the inside cut a five and three quarters by three and three quarters piece so you'll have somewhere to write and align it with the fold on the left. Mine is slightly smaller but the right measurements are the ones that are written on the video. And I'm also attaching a tree on the inside. For further embellishments I want to add some stars on the top of the trees as well as on the trees themselves. I punched out these stars, two different sizes of stars, and I want two different colors on the top of the trees and two different colors on the trees themselves. It's really good to have a double sided cardstock when you punch so you get an option to choose if you want a solid color or maybe you want to add a patterned paper instead or maybe a mix. I'm going to create a mix with my stars so it won't be too boring. And then I also want to use a white Posca pen to add little tiny white stars just to brighten the card a little bit so it won't be just these colors. So I simply draw them. You can use stickers or stamps or just leave this part out. And I also want to add a little frame with the same white pen around the card just to make it nice and pretty. I want to thank you for joining me on this 12 Cards of Christmas 2017 series. I loved all the cards. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Please visit my website, anotkessler.com, and join the VIP room. There's a lots of good things, videos, giveaways, contests, challenges, tips, and inspiration there. There is a link to join under the video. So, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.